Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a coloring video for you today. I thought I would show you the things I have been working on and then I got some new books. I haven't got any new coloring books in so long, it seems like, but I actually did just get a few new ones and I thought I would show them to you. So this first one is the, um, I know there's like a glare over here to the side and I apologize for that. The sun is bright coming in <laughs> today. But um, this is the uh, one from Chubby Fairies by Deborah Muller that I was coloring uh, on camera for a while a few weeks ago. Um, I did finish that and I like how she turned out. I like it a lot. I think it's really, really cute. Um, you know, I don't know. It's a fun picture and I enjoyed it. Um... There was a girl in our coloring group named Stephanie, and she did hers with the glow around the fireflies, and I thought that was really cute. So I borrowed the idea from her, uh, and I absolutely gave her credit, so that was fine. She was cool with it, but I think it was just a really cute little picture. I really liked how it turned out. And then I... um. I worked a little bit more on my work in progress from Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. Um, I think I showed it to you guys in the one of the last coloring videos I did. I was working on this page um, and I had finished the leaves and now I have the flowers sort of completed. I still have work to do on the um, middle part of them but I'm just doing this when I have the time um the pencils I'm using on this one are the Speer Farbens I guess that's how you say it um so I've I've been enjoying working on that when I have time here and there I think it's I don't know it's a fun and an interesting picture and then I started we are doing um in the Deborah Muller group we are doing Christmas in July and I will be hosting a color along um I think I'm gonna start it Friday I haven't decided for sure whether I'm gonna start it this Friday or next Friday because this weekend I'm gonna be busy with family from Florida that are here and we have a big reunion and then the weekend after that I have a reunion uh on my that, that the one this weekend is on my dad's side of the family, the one next weekend is on my mom's side of the family. So I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know what, when, but I think if I run the color along from Friday to Friday, it should be okay. Um, so uh, I think for that one, I'm going to color out of Gothic Christmas. Um, but uh, I did start coloring this one from Fairy Merry Christmas the other day, and it's in the early, early stages. <laughs> so it definitely looks unfinished um, because it is but I've laid down um, a base of Bic markers and her skin is a lot darker than I wanted it to be I wanted it to be the shade of blue that the snowflakes are but I only had uh, my big solid um, I think it's ocean is it ocean sky blue cloud blue something like that in my big marker it ran out and so the these I did with a fine liner but, um, so I had to go over it with the next step, and I think this is the ocean blue. Um, so it's a little bit darker than what I wanted her to be, but I'll lighten her up with pencils and stuff like that. And I'm sure it'll be fine by the time I get finished with it. So that is what I'm working on currently. Um, but like I said, I, I'm gonna, I'm planning on doing a color along. I just don't know which week it's going to be for our Christmas in July. And I will put the link to our Facebook group for Deborah in the description section below. So we have lots of freebies and there's coloring contests and whatnot. I'm pulling out my invoice here so that, what's going on, there we go. So that that won't be uh, on camera. And okay, so uh, Keith was actually ordering some things from um, Hamilton Book and Book Outlet and so he asked me, like he always does, is there anything you want? And I took a look, and I did see a couple from each place that I wanted. So from Book Outlet, I got The Gnomes in the Neighborhood by Denise Klett. I think that's her name. Denise Klett. Kletta. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, I have her other two, The Mermaids in Paradise and The Fairies in Dreamland, I think. So I just wanted that one so I could complete what I have. Um, this one's kind of funny. It's definitely mm, different than the other two, but I think it'll be okay. And because it was at Book Outlet, it was $5.99. So not bad. I'm not going to do a flip of that because so many people have seen that already. 
Um, and then I got a Deborah Miller title. He is Risen. This is Deborah's first um, coloring book that she had from a publisher. And I didn't have that one yet. And this one was only $1.29. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have her her posh coloring books and I thought it would be similar to those that have scripture in them and then it's not and I really love this book I'm super glad I got it and I am going to do a flip through of it because I love it I love it I absolutely love it I'm so glad I got it but like I said it was only a dollar 29 so pretty good and I think was it the scratch and dent is it this one no this one wasn't scratch and dent and then I got the chubby cherubs also by Deborah Muller, Baby Angels to Color and Display. I did pick this one up from the Scratch and Dent section, and it was $2.29. So this is, excuse me, from her Zen Doodle um, publisher. And I'll do a flip through of this too. This book, at first I didn't think I wanted it, and then it was like $2.29, and I'm like, okay, just get it, you know, and I'm really glad I did because when I started looking through it, I thought it was super cute and very fun and easy to do and I don't know, I really liked it. So if you ever notice like a book outlet and someone in our Deborah Muller group had said this, why do they have some, some books have two different prices? It's because they have a scratch and dent section. And I did purchase this one from the scratch and dent section. So I think the um, one in the like normal one was probably like a dollar to two dollars more but I was like well I'm cool with it the only thing is with this one is it has a the back cover was creased it was folded so it has a crease that runs all through it but other than that the illustrations are all fine so it you know really nice so I was completely happy with that and I will do a flip through of that also and then from Hamilton book I got the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Big Bads and Monsters. Now when they first came out with the very first Buffy coloring book I was really excited like so many other Buffy fans because hello Buffy and then like when I saw a flip through of it I was super disappointed and I think a lot of other people were too because there wasn't any like um like, it just seemed like all the illustrations were, like, Buffy and the gang standing around looking mopey or something. I don't know. It just wasn't my thing, and I did not buy it. The monsters are what makes Buffy so cool. You know, like, there's so many different monster characters. So that's what makes Buffy really, really cool, you know. So then they came out with this one, and this one is so much better. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this at Hamilton Book. I think it was $4 or $5. It wasn't very much. Um... But I'll put a link to Hamilton book in the dis in the description section below. And I'm sure you guys have seen um, uh, illustration or flip throughs of this before. So if you are a Buffy fan though, I don't know. It's just really cool. And then on the opposite page they have like the text from a scene in the, in the episode. So I'm really excited to color in this. Uh, especially around Halloween time. I think it's fun. And I... It's been so long since I watched Buffy. I have the box set on uh, DVDs, but it's been so long since I've ha I've watched Buffy. I don't feel compelled to um, color it like the TV show characters. You know what I mean? I don't care whether or not they look the same. It, it doesn't even bother me at all. So, yeah, really excited to color in that one. And then this one I'm going to do a flip through of separately. This is super, super cool. <laughs> I love this book. It's called The Art of Moulin Rouge, more than 25 interactive projects inspired by the artwork of the world famous venue. It is fantastic. And I think this one was like $7 maybe or $6. It's got coloring pages, dot to dot, color by number, postcards, um, and than just like pictures of poster art. It's really, really cool. So if you're into like fashion and stuff like that, um, or kind of, you know, like that French fashion thing, um, or art, you'll like this. So I'm, I'm going to do a separate, um, a flip through of that because it's a fantastic book. So yeah, but that's all I got going on right now. I just thought I would show you guys, but I am going to do a couple flips after I get done filming this. Um, I'm going to do this one and some of the Deborah Muller books. Um, 
If you want to see a flip of the other ones, you can let me know, but I know that they're very accessible on YouTube. There's flips of them already available. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. So I'm still coloring and I'll leave the link for Deborah's Facebook group in the description section below so you can join us for what's left of Christmas in July. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.